started three years ago. Um, I went to Bloomingdale Park right over here, close to where I live, um, for the Halloween extravaganza, which they do, they were doing yearly. And I bought some cheap Halloween makeup and I painted my face and her face like a sugar skull, I did. And we went to the Halloween extravaganza and everybody was stopping me, like left and right. And, oh wow, that's so good, that's so great. And that's when I realized that I might be able to do this. So I, after that, a couple months later, I invested in some uh, better quality paint and it just took off from there, right? I do not have any formal art training. I am completely self-taught and basically just by trial and error, you know, maybe watch a couple of videos, talk to a couple of other fellow artists, but um, I always drew when I was younger and then I kind of lost sight of that for so many years. Um, I had my kids at a very young age and I was focused on them and working. I had a couple family tragedies and I started to realize that it's more important for me to do something that makes me happy and that's what life is all about. And I get to work with kids and smiling faces. What's better than that? I don't feel like I've mastered anything. I feel like being an artist is always a work in progress. So I feel like, you know, yeah, every, you know, what I do is great and it's phenomenal and it's progressed over the years and, and, I've, and I've come a long way, definitely. But I still have a long way to go and I'm enjoying the journey and I, and I never want to stop, you know, getting better and pushing myself and being a better artist. You know, it's so important to me. Um, I never want to stop making these kids smile and creating beautiful things for people to... Ooh and ah over.